Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is an interesting looking quadcopter. This is the Yuxiang 668. Now the Yuxiang 668, as you can see, is a camera quadcopter with kind of an unusual looking camera. Uh, the camera is uh, remote controlled in that you can swivel it up and down a limited number of degrees. I'll show you what those degrees are here shortly. Um, it is a Wi-Fi FPV flyer, which means you get 0.3 megapixel FPV video recorded directly to your phone or tablet. I'm going to be using a tablet today, folks. But you can also attach a phone here into this phone holder um, if you want to view FPV while flying. Uh, I'm just going to be strictly recording that these, the vi received video on my um, NVIDIA Shield tablet to show you uh, the type of, you know, the actual reception that you're going to get in Wi-Fi with this quadcopter. Um, it is a altitude hold quadcopter, which means it will maintain its altitude in flight, um, but it does not have automatic takeoff or automatic landing. At least uh, I couldn't find that in the uh, instructions for this quadcopter but it does have headless mode and one key return and uh, one key return is activated by this button here headless mode by this button here you can turn the lights on and off in the camera and it on this quadcopter and it has interesting lights right here and i believe these light up also we'll find out here shortly um the right button is this button here so if you can adjust the speed of the quadcopter by pressing this button here and that will give you greater pitch and roll and finally if you want to do a flip you press this button here and tell which direction to flip and another finally finally you can control the camera like i said you can move the camera down by pressing in this direction and up by pressing in toward the right and that will raise the camera so let's demonstrate that right now and then we'll go right into a flight turning on the quadcopter and here's the led lights like i said and we are going to set the headless mode direction as that direction there. Turning on the transmitter to bind it to the quadcopter. And binding it to the quadcopter with an up and down. Now what I wanted to show you was this camera. I activated headless mode by accident, but let's move it uh, up. See it moves up slightly and then move it down. It'll move point almost directly straight down. Um, when moving it up, its highest angle upward seems to be about 30 degrees down. So there's going to be a lot of view of the ground with this quadcopter. This is the highest it will raise up. But it will drop all the way, almost all the way straight down. So if you fly directly overhead, you can record yourself with this. I think that was their idea. Okay, now I'm going to go hook up. We got a bound. I got to turn on my tablet here and uh, we'll go right into it here. Uh, the app that it uses is Wi-Fi FPV, the commonly found Wi-Fi FPV app and we are connected and opening Wi-Fi I'm sorry Wi-Fi UFO and I'm going to turn on my screen recorder so you can see what I am seeing start and this is Wi-Fi UFO app available on Google Play and on iTunes and hitting play and this is the FPV view that we're seeing and again I'm recording this and I'm also going to record the video by pressing the recording button there. Now you can also control this quadcopter through the app, but if you got a controller, I highly recommend you use the controller instead. You'll have much more precise control. So uh, start your motors, and you start them by moving the throttles down and out. Right. Down and in, I'm sorry. Down and in starts the motors. I guess that calibrated the quadcopter down and out. Sorry about that. And take off by applying throttle. Now we got a little bit of a breeze here. So let's go around. We'll go up a bit higher so you can see the camera. And I'm gonna go upwind also. Now I'm gonna point the camera down. And pull it backward over my position. So you can see us down here, going up higher. And again, coming down. I am in headless mode, ain't I? Coming out of headless mode. One key return. And this is the one key return bringing it back toward us and turning headless mode off and turning off one key return. Yeah, I'm still in headless mode. Headless mode off. Going to higher speed, higher rate. Still in headless mode, folks. Come out of that thing. There we go. 
and this boat is off, coming back down. <laughs> so you can see the quad copter. That's enough of that a pie video. Coming down, coming down, and raising the camera. <whistles> camera is up and coming down toward us. You like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> and we'll bring it in. That's the FPV video from it. Now, one of them, oh, I got to point it down now. That was pointed up before. So let's go back up again and go right overhead. Hello there. <laughs> Directly overhead. Okay, that points it up. Okay, bringing it in now. That was the first recording. Now we're going to land it. And you're going to need to do manual landing. It doesn't have automatic takeoff and landing. And it shuts itself down. Now I'm going to stop the recording. Hold on, folks. To make sure we got that video. And we're going to start the video up one more time. Video started again. And now we're going to check out its maneuverability and flips. <laughs> so starting the motors one more time. Down and out. Going to the air. And let's press the flip button. Press the flip button. Press the flip button. Press the flip button. So it does flips. How about maneuverability? We're beginner, intermediate, or so two rates. No, there's third rate. It's a good flyer. So interesting flyer. Good control on it. Now I know that recording of this is not doing very well <laughs> because I know Wi-Fi. I let the wind blow it backward. How do you like my shirt, folks? <laughs> Bring it back into the wind. There's a wind coming up my back right now. So that's what its video looks like, folks. Let's bring it in. Okay, going back to beginner rate. Slowing it down. Let's bring it in close so you can see it. Beginner rate doesn't have much pitch at all on it, folks. Very, very um, docile in beginner rate, which is good, I guess, for beginners, if you, especially if you're uh, indoors learning to hover with this thing and control it and hover. So, you know, it's very docile rates on this. Let's go to intermediate rate. Intermediate rate is quite a bit more reactive than beginner rate. Okay, let's show you the beginner rate again. This is max pitch going into the wind right now in beginner rate. Max yaw rate. Very slow, very gentle, very graceful. Intermediate rate, much better. Actually, a nice one to fly with if you want to fly gracefully. And expert rate. Much more agile. In expert rate. Going back to intermediate. Okay, let's stop this recording. Let's come in for a landing again. Always recommend landing this one into the wind, folks. It'll hopefully save you from tipping over. Let's see if I can prove that, that I'm right. Okay, let's stop that recording. Hold on. I'm going over to the, my camera. Make sure we got that recording. Starting the recording again. Again, the reason I do this, I stop and stop the re recordings, is to um, make sure I got those recordings. Because if that battery would die in this quadcopter, and this is true for most toy grade quadcopters, if the battery will die in the quadcopter before you stop recording, you will lose your video. Okay? It will not record. Um, a lot of people find that out the hard way. They think they got great video, and then they get home. And then they find out that they shut off the quadcopter before shutting off the video camera. And if you do that, it doesn't give the quadcopter a chance to record the memory onto the memory card. Or, in this case, my, the memory of my phone. And you will lose the video. It'll be a corrupted file or it'll be no file at all. Okay, bringing it around. Now, since this is a Wi-Fi flyer, I don't, don't expect great video and uh, FPV range. Okay, there goes the battery. And we find out what happens when we lose battery power. No, when we lose battery power on this quadcopter, it just drops. 
uh, to the ground. <laughs> uh, that would have been nice if it would have uh, landed, but uh, it dropped. <laughs> so that's the end of the flight, and my battery door came undone. Hold on, folks, I'll get that battery door back in there. So unfortunately, we lost. The, I'm pretty sure we lost the end video, the remaining video. But I was recording to my FPV screen, so we should have video on my FPV screen of the last portion of that flight, thanks to my NVIDIA uh, tablet. I really like that tablet, folks. The NVIDIA. So that's again the X or the 668 from Yuxiang. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out.